Monkey 1000 and today we are in Mount Dora and we are at the Lakeside Inn for one night and we are going to do some haunting this evening. We are on a haunting walking and we're going to tour Lakeside and show you uh, some of the haunting in here. We have also brought our boxes, our ghost box and stuff and we are going to try them out this evening and we will see what we can catch. Um, there's history on Lakeside. I'll put it in, in the video, so at the beginning of the video, so you guys can understand it a little bit more. <coughs> this hotel was from the 1800s. So, um, yeah, this is what's in our room. We're in our room right now, so you can, you can see. And this is a corner soda fountain in Mount Dora, Florida at one time. So we've been to Mount Dora before. We have filmed Mount Dora, but we have never stayed in Mount Dora. This is our room. And <coughs> because we have Bruno, they have special rooms just for the, us to bring a dog. So, um, yeah. So this is our room. And here's our bathroom. Shaper has gone to get more of his camera equipment. This is our bathroom. Cool. It smells very musty in here. It has that old musty smell that you smell in old homes and stuff. Um, it doesn't bother me. You know, it's just part of it. I mean, this is a very old hotel. This is our walk-in closet. Wow, it's got an iron and an ironing board and my my bag um yeah so and you can join your rooms here i don't know how many rooms can be joined but um this one can be so this is really cool i will show you the outside when we go out there and start exploring we're just bringing our stuff in so um yeah this is over here it was the soda fountain was in 1915. that's pretty cool and greetings from Florida. Had a great, I don't know, can't read up. Had a something grand trip. I had a grand trip. I miss you sincerely, Katie. So these are probably people that stayed here and really liked it here. So we were lucky we even got this. I mean, this is Halloween day night you know and we were really surprised that we even got this um you know we we didn't i really thought we wouldn't be able to get in here but it's kind of like off season here The january and february i guess is really busy here because all the northerners come to florida so um but yeah so stay tuned and we'll be back as soon as we go out i'll show you the front of the place it's really pretty um yeah so stay tuned Okay, guys, this is the Lakeside Inn. This is where the main and the restaurants in this one. Yeah, yeah we were going to, they were going to give us a room in here, but we have Bruno. So they only have certain places for animals. And it was going to be the third floor. Which was in that oh, one. that would have been perfect. That would have been perfect for what we're here for. But that's okay. We have to bring Bruno. And then over here is another part of it. They call this, what do they call this one? The, the Gables. The Gables. 1927. They built this building, right? Yeah. Yeah, because this one, is that 18? 1893. 1893. It started out as a 10 guest hotel. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that amazing? It was put on the Register of Historic Places in 1987. Right. So we're going to explore all this. When we get back, we're going to go and eat. They do have an in-ground swimming pool down here. And, of course, we can walk down there later by the water. It'll be fun. So we want to get eating because we're going to do a ghost tour tonight. It's a walk tour. 
and it starts right here. So we don't even have to get in our car or nothing. And we can just walk to everything from here. So, which is nice. So stay tuned and we'll show you what, what happens here. So we're going to eat and we are, where do they call this place? Las Palmas. Las Palmas, Cuban restaurant. We thought we'd try something different. And what did you get? Pork chops, rice, um, to stones and onion rings. And look at the eyeball he has. He got an eyeball in his drink. He has a margarita, strawberry, and I got stuck with the soda. <laughs> but I really want a margarita, but I can't have it. Just too much sugar for me. So anyways, we're down here. And we're sitting here and it's raining. There's some people already getting ready for Halloween night. So we wanted to eat because we're going to do the walk tour, the haunted walk tour tonight. So we thought we'd get something to eat first and then we'll look around and then we'll go back and get ready for our tour. We have to be there at 7.15 you said? Yeah, it's 7.30, 9.30. we got to be 15 minutes early. Yeah, so that will be fun. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, so is Bruno. He's got his costume on down here. There's Bruno. He's having a good time. He was the first one up this morning. Oh, I know. He's excited. He knows. Yeah, he does. And then I got the costume out, and he wanted it on right away. Yeah. How would he know that? I don't know. But huh. as soon as you got it out, he, he jumped up on the couch. Because I didn't intend to put it on until we got here. But yeah, he was ready. He to, wanted it on. So. He wanted his costume on. Yeah, he did. So, anyways, as soon as we see something, or we do something... I'll bring you back on. I'll show you what I got for my Cuban dinner. Okay, there's his lovely pork chops. Yep. Mm, that looks good. And these are my tamales. It's huge. Huge. I won't be able to eat it all, but I'll have a snack for later, won't I, babe? Yeah. Okay, guys, so we're back from our dinner. We went and dropped off the rest of my food. I couldn't eat it all. It was just way too much for me. But anyways, we're back at the hotel hanging out for a little bit. It's gorgeous, isn't it? This is all the hotel. Yeah. It's really cool. I want to be up there, babe. What? I want to be up there. Where? Up there. <laughs> Isn't that cute? It's really nice. Pool restrooms. And so I guess you go in there. Maybe that's where they have the towels for the pool. Because they, they, you can get towels so you don't have to bring your... Up there? Yeah, I'll check it out. Yeah. I'll check it out. It's really pretty. Gorgeous. I've got Bruno in my other hand, so it's making it hard for me to jiggle. Yeah, we'll walk down here. Shaver's filming too. There you go. There's a bar. And there's a doggy there. See the doggy? Oh, we could sit there and drink. Here's the swimming pool, y'all. Nobody's in it. I might try to get in it in the morning. I might get up early and get in it. I wonder if it's heated. But we won't, I don't think we'll have time tonight because the pool is supposed to be closed on um, dusk. So it's open from dawn to dusk, it said, but yeah. It's okay. Yeah, you're okay. You're okay. It's okay. It's okay. Take a break. Take a break. It's okay. Okay, you gotta take a break. You're getting too excited. Yep. It's okay, buddy. You just got too excited. Yeah, you just getting too excited. Calm down. There you go. Calm down. That's a there, good puppy. That's a good boy. 
Good puppy. There. Okay. Anyways, there's a sailboat out there. Isn't it gorgeous? So we can walk down here. I know you could. It's okay, buddy. Yeah, that is gorgeous out it's here. It's okay. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. It's all right. Yeah. yeah, he's having a seizure. Yeah, seizure. He got too excited. He's been so excited all day today. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. It's really pretty out here. Yeah. So. We'll take you back to the room in a few minutes, okay? You can rest until walking time, all right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to take a little walk down here and check it out. Got a little beach here. You can sit on the beach. That's nice. Very nice. Yeah. Sit there and have the sand in between your feet if you wanted to. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Of the gators. Well, that's just anywhere in Florida. You have to be careful with the gators. Set. Stop. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. I wouldn't mind having one of those rooms. Yeah. So everybody's walking down here. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they got their own docks. Yeah, it is cool. Let's walk down here and see what we got down here. Uh, so we got a little beach right here. Yeah. 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 Huh? Yeah, fishy swimming. No, don't do that, Bruno. Gators in there. Alligator get you. Gators get you. I'm gonna turn this off. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, okay, guys. I I wanted to pass those people. They were all hugging each other and stuff. So, yeah, we can't go over here because they have this due to the hurricanes. The water's rising still. So, um, yeah, wouldn't that be nice to have a wedding right there? You know, get married right there. I have that on your background. That would be a nice wedding. Yes, pretty wedding. Oh, Hinting! Oh. We're coming up to what? How many years now? Enough. Enough. <laughs> okay. Funky wants to get married. Well, on you did water. put a ring on my hand at one time. <laughs> Well, it should still be there unless you took it off. No, it's still there. All right, so. <laughs> it is gorgeous out here, though. Yeah. Very pretty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's on sale, too. He's, he's not murdering. Uh-uh. Yeah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous place. We've always liked Mount Dora. Yeah. I can't believe we got to stay here, really. It's always so busy, and the prices are very expensive. You got a pretty good deal. Oh, a haunted hotel I got on October 31st. Yeah, I know. And ghost tours that wasn't filled up. Yeah, yeah. We so. were meant to be here. Yeah, we were meant to be here. So, Anyways, guys, I'll turn you back on in a few. Okay, guys, we're going to go upstairs. She dropped her cigarette. Come on. We're going to kind of dip around. This is the building we're in, but we're down there. Uh -huh. So let's see if we can see. I swear, guys, people might be in here. I don't think they're sleeping, but I don't want to be loud. Oh. 
never just took off on me. I have to be careful because I'm going down steps, guys. Up and down. A lot of steps in this place. Wow. Bruno making noise. You get up to the top. Well, we're on the top. This is second floor. So how do you get to the third floor? I thought there was three floors. The she... Oh, you mean the? Oh, okay. So it's two two floors in this one. Boom. Shiver took off. Look, he's gone. Look at that. That's cool. All right, I'm going to go down here. So, we went up the other way, and we'll go down this way. Okay, girl. This is our view here. This way. Yeah, I think these buildings, these ones were added on. So. Hmm. Wow. Look at that. I wonder where that goes. Oh no. Wow. Sorry guys. See what's down here. That's nothing. Just nothing. Just the doorway. So you can exit from there. Okay, fair enough. Let's turn around. Oh. Oh, I'll cut that out, guys. Oh. Right. We'll go down this way. There's ice here. There's some ice. And these are public bathrooms. Oh, I guess. Oh, I see where we are. Oh. Oh, and there's a snack machine. And you can go out here. And we were over here just a minute ago. And the pool's right there. So that's cool. So use these bathrooms when you're swimming if you need to go. So that's all right. All right. Back up here. Come on. There we go. Really nice. Cool. There we go. I don't know where Shaper went. He left me. And this is our room right here. There we go. This is our room right here. That's a lot. Yeah. I have the key. Hold on, guys. I want to check this out. This is cool. It's locked. Bet you they use it for cleaning. Cool. Okay, guys. We'll be back. Everything's done. This is our um, sampler tour. We also do a four hour tour. We'll get kind of the hardcore uh, ghost hunters on it. And we have more equipment and things.
things and they bring their own and we spend more time in places. Um, but this is just our sampler and uh, the weather actually is, um, is you know, cooperating with us. It's nice weather. Um, but we will we'll investigate as we go along a little bit. So even if the dog picks up on something. He has. He can do that. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he has. Yeah, he he sees something in our house too sometimes. Yeah. yeah, it's weird. He'll look around like, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you know he's looking at somebody. Yeah. No, yeah. My dog has done the same thing. And because yeah. of what I do occasionally, because I talk to spirits, they want to continue the conversation at home, even though I say I'm not going to talk to you at home. Yes, yeah. so every now and then I'll watch my dog looking at someone. I can't see her staring in the corner. And <laughs> right. Yeah, mm. I, I stick to my rules. So any place that you are where you feel uncomfortable, we can move along. But mostly what we're going to do is we're going to start here. This is kind of our first spot, some stories and history, and a little investigating. I'll put some things out, um, give you guys some equipment, whoever wants to hold on to it. And um, then we're going to uh, take a little bit of a little walk in town. I've got some other, some other stories around there. And then uh, we're going to end up back here in the building, um, back here on the property. So we'll uh, stop and do that. But, Guys, any questions or concerns? No. Nope. Any good? All right. Just mm. let me know how you're feeling. Anybody want to stop for um, restroom breaks? We should, you know, the, our, our final stop will also have, you know, have restrooms and everything. So please. <coughs> and once again, like I said, if you guys want at any point grab any, like grab anything to drink or anything and take along with you, you're welcome to do that. Um, that is the nice thing about Mount Laurel being the festival city. Got relaxed rules on. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> want to sell as much as possible. But that's okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a little paranormal 101 before we get started with the stories um, for the reason that we can get the equipment out and just kind of when we're telling stories and telling history. Sometimes the spirits will kind of invite them to interact with us only if they want to. We have no expectations. I know if you go on a uh, whale, you know, whale watching tour, you expect to see whales. Um, if you're on a ghost hunting tour, you expect to see ghosts. No. <laughs> you may be disappointed. Uh, unless you actually do, like like I said, you see, you see apparitions. Um, do we have activity in our tours? Yeah, we do. Um, is it the same every time? Absolutely not. Every single tour is different. I never know what's going to happen. It depends on the guest, why I was here. Um, just the, the mood, the I swear, the weather. Um, sometimes it's it's boom everywhere we go. We're, we're getting someone wanting to join our, our tour. Other times it's crickets. <laughs> so... Um, but yeah, we. And well, I'm, we I'm an investigator, so. Oh, we're we're doing investigating. Is this your own? Is this your own group? Yeah, and yeah. It, you know, nine times out of ten, nothing really happens. Right. You know, I mean, you can't just. Well, we did. Yes, we were. Yeah. We actually have flashlights coming on, and they wanted more. I'm like, we're doing a two-hour thing. I said, you, <laughs> if you've watched the show, they're there for days. <laughs> they edit things yeah. down. Uh, so yeah. you're lucky if you get something come on I've, in two hours. I've, right? You know, I had to go back three or four different times just to explore a place. Oh, yeah. And it's like, yeah. I, you know, go back four times and I still really get nothing, actually. You know what I mean? But yeah. Well, most places, and we do get, we actually get asked to go. Uh, we are paranormal investigators, so a lot of times we go and uh, check out businesses. Businesses especially because staff members are, you know, freaking out when things are happening, sometimes guests. And so um, 10 out of 10, I, I'm going to say every time, they're right, something's going on. But it's always good. It's, not, not, it's nothing bad, just they're trying to get their attention. Uh, we occasionally do homes, but if, if we did that, we would. That's all we'd be doing, and, and we never know too what we're walking into or what people have been doing in their homes. To, right. Know, so, uh, so anyway, so we're uh, real paranormal one on one. We talk about three basic types of haunts. Uh, there's more. It's way more complicated. I don't have all the answers. I don't think any of us do until we get, you know, until we actually get there. Um, and when I when I speak about it, we just talk about them as being on the other side. Depending on you know your belief systems and faiths, uh, that could mean happen whatever you were, they're just not living with us. And if they're interacting with us, they're on the other side. Um, so that's how I'll just you know refer to them. Um, again, we'll we'll ask them politely to join us. Um, they do, they do. They don't, they don't. Um, they know they don't have to. Um, they are not on our payroll. So, but a lot of times, just talking about things kind of gets them going. They just can't. Sometimes they can't help themselves. They'll hear us talk about something that is important to them. So the three main types of haunts, the um, residual haunt would be the first one. Uh, this is a perfect example of that would be you know, the, the lady in white stories you hear all over, you know, like I, I swear every town, city, all over the world has at least one lady in white story. She wanders through a building, uh, that spirit that people 
Tracy does the same thing over and over again. Um, she's not aware, doesn't seem to be aware of her surroundings or timing or those around her. She may walk into a wall where a door used to be. Uh, we can't interact with her. Uh, battlefields are the same same way. Um, there are some there are some residual spirits that are also intelligent ones, but there's just people don't see a whole regiment go across that way at night, disappear into the woods. They'll hear cannons, shouting, gunfire. You're just listening. You're catching something from the past, and that's that energy that's just trapped in that environment for whatever reason. We don't know why, but we're just literally experiencing the past. That's the residual haunt. Um, the intelligent or genuine haunt, which has nothing to do with IQ, is kind of what people come on our tours to interact with. Hollywood makes the big bucks on that. Yeah, um, yeah this is these are the ones that uh, they can touch us. They can move things. That's why I when I get some teenagers on our tours who they want that special experience. I want to be. They're all nice. Everybody's good where we go. We have there are no bad spirits, but also be careful what you ask for, and we have found that out. So uh, they can turn on lights. I've seen lights come on here, uh, doors open and close. We've seen televisions come on. Um, yeah, so it's those are the intelligent haunts that we're looking to connect with and ask. And these are also the same type of spirit that our guests bring along with them. Uh, we've had many, many times where a spirit will come along with one or numerous guests. And just want to interact with the different insects. It's just that moment they may have been trying all along, and I said, "Okay, now I got your attention." So here's kind of opportunities to do that. So that's the uh, intelligent haunt. The last one is the object haunt, which is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, can be as small as a piece of jewelry to as big as a building, and it can actually be uh, either a residual haunt, meaning that the energy is just trapped on that item for whatever reason, or in that space. Or it's an intelligent haunt, and that spirit staying with either that object or that space till it ceases to exist. And we run into both kinds in our both in our investigations and in our outings that we do. Um, and yes, I, I didn't believe it as a kid, but yes, dolls can be haunted. <laughs> yeah. For sure. I have one. Yeah. And, and, and I know lots of other people do too. too. Um, yeah. We actually have a haunted doll down in our Orlando uh, downtown Orlando location that nobody wants. It's not evil, but it's just, you know, it freaked enough people out. Mm -hmm. So we've got some items that nobody knew where to go with. They just didn't want them in their house. I know. So I've been trying to get rid of mine. <laughs> yeah, I can't and get rid of it. It won't leave. No. When she gets her out. I have to take her out of the box, and then she. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, you, you know, scary. She's big. I mean, this thing is like. Oh, yeah. Like a small child. Yeah. yeah, basically, yeah. Beautiful doll, but just weird things happen when that doll is out. It was given to me. By a patient of mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we've got K2 meters. Anybody would like to carry one? You don't need one? I'll carry one. one. She's talking about this tea room. So, anyway, so um, this building was actually built around 1930. It's in the very middle. Um, one of the few buildings in the era. But, there is a uh, And uh, this was a, um, a, a, a British couple, so in the UK, though, um, don't spread what they do. Um, Americans will live in our retirement uh, In the UK, everything is hundreds and even sometimes a thousand years old uh, in American homes. So don't spread what they do. The couple that started the few minutes here, they knew that there were problems. They, they had no problems with it. They tried, they tried to be real quiet. This is haunted right here, guys. Where the door is there. So uh there you go. in the kitchen. They would see anybody working in the kitchen. And of course the kitchen staff there that was the producer that worked for the the tea room. And um don't say they did but I'll tell the full story. But you're back there and if you're doing prep work, you know how like when you put things in they just put down on the counter and you wait for them to do something else and you get back to the stand that's on the counter. Well, Many times, whatever's on the counter goes missing. Uh, if they're lucky, it'll pop up back in the, you know, back in the same spot or at least somewhere in the kitchen. Other times, they find it in the other part of the building uh, or another home. Uh, and, and they just might just that this is just kind of part of their reality. Uh, or they'll be working, someone will be working back in the cells and see something out of the corner of their eye your body. And I'll turn you guys back on in a bit. Here, can you hold him? Thank you. Oh. <laughs> All right, so I have a flashlight over there on that counter. There's one in the, uh, 
pause it along with the cat ball. Boom, 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 one right after another. That's cool, though. Yeah, it's cool. It just, but it just it takes over the. And if you live here, it's kind of hard when it's that many guests. But again, parking and just, it's just, mm -hmm. it's difficult. But they get, they get great. Um, yeah, they do it. They have a lot of festivals here. Oh, yeah. They, they call themselves the Festival City. Uh, they used to be back in the day, you know, as the New England of the South. And they're the Festival City now. Um, but again, they just haven't solved the parking issue. <laughs> you can, you know, advertise and get all sorts of people, you know, here, but especially South Florida, who's never seen anything like this, you know, very um, northern. And you, there really isn't another, I think, town like this in Florida, uh, quite like this. I've never seen one that's a lot faster. They're sort of good. Oh, no, I believe there's a this very active gap. That's why I'm glad that you're here. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. And it wasn't like. Person for a few, but I did Such see something. Oh, well, it was a light show. So we've seen, okay, so we've seen all the time. We'll see a light, a light and out, they go by and forth, and then a flashlight will come on. This is the, so this is the most active kind of area. Of this. So this this train station was built in 1915. This is the third one. When the railroad came through here in 1887, it was, it was the tracks are over there, it was on the other side, on that side, and it was that you know, rectangular station. Then another one like this was built here, but it burned down. So this was in 1915. This area would have been the baggage area. Uh, where the chamber offices are, that would have been the ticket um, agent's office and waiting area. So we get, we get certain kind of activity here. There's some definite regular spirits here. They do mess with all the electronic locks. We warned them last year when they replaced them that it was just going to happen again and <laughs> everything that was happening, like yeah, now they're going to mess with them again. They lock people out. They, it, they'll just go haywire. I know electronics are weird, but they have actually, the spirits have actually told us, yes, we mess with them. They've, they've watched on their camera as doors have opened on their own at night. Uh, these are now windows over here where the like barn doors are, but back in the day, that, that one especially, that one might have been too, but that one especially was definitely a door to the platform. So we think some of the activity revolves around the fact that that was a doorway. Um, there are some specific spirits here that are probably always here, whether they show themselves is always debatable, but people have caught, we've caught some really interesting pictures here, shadows, um, people will get with their meters to still get certain spikes in areas or feel definite temperature changes. You'll, be, you'll get hot and cold spots here all the time. Um, it'd be interesting to see if the dog picks up on anything. If there's one special spirit here, I kind of wonder you know, whether they'll be drawn to the fact that there's a dog here. But I don't know, has anybody ever done the dowsing rods? Well, we'd like to try it. So I'm going to suggest that if anybody's going to do it, no. do it in, a, in this lift area over here. And the lift area might get this off very quickly. But it gets dark. So I would say anybody would like to try this is what you do with the dowsing rods. Anybody can't see anything there. Right there. All right. She's so going to try it. Really very first way to pick up on spirits. And they, generally, it's family and friends that come in. We get a lot of that here, a lot of family reunions, a lot of really emotional things. But how we do it, and I'm not a good dog because I'm very distracted and I'm going to be all over the place um, on an occasion. So we stand a little bit apart. Now, the dog and dog we use for finding underground life. Um, we don't know why they work with dogs. We just say, yeah, they, they work. Uh, scientists just say they don't. Mm -hmm. but whatever. No. So we use them here to find dogs um, for, for paranormal. So we start with. Anybody 
think elsewhere. Uh, I, <laughs> my guests are always like right. kids. When yeah. I get kids in here, I've done them before. Sure. Have you been in my car? When, when, when I get kids when in I get here, something. no. You, it's not required. Does anybody would like to hear the options? Yeah. So let me know. You want to try them? I'll put them over here. But I want to get the lights canceled and start in here and see if we get any lighting on or any kind of anything on. <laughs> And I would say I would suggest yeah, like go more over where it's gonna be like when I turn the lights off. Yes, it's probably the best light source you can see the crossing. Although you can feel it, you can tell us what they're doing. So. So it's calm. And it was flashing red like crazy over there. Now, yeah. mm -mm. let me go to that towards that bathroom. Over there and see. Let out. Yes. Yeah. 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 Trying to see if I could get something. Anybody over here? So I'm going to turn off the lights. Hmm. Hmm. I'll tell you which one of the bathrooms is the haunted bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> is it a man? Yeah, I'd say so. We'll have to check that out. <laughs> I get nothing in here. No, I can't. It was really going off at the tea house. Bruno got scared coming up the steps. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You're talking here. Yeah, sometimes. This is supposed to be haunted in here. I don't see anything. But the team. I got quite a bit of activity. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
because it was a speakeasy back in one time. From ni from the 1950s um, to the 1980s, it was a kumquat farm. So there were a lot of a lot of drinking went on down there. But since then, it's become their offices and storage area. So we, we don't go down there anymore. But uh, if you go down to the bottom of the, I, I, they'll they'll come to you for the bottom. If you go to the bottom of the stairs there outside their office, like for those bathrooms, there I've seen those bathrooms open and closed by themselves. So definitely a lot of activity down there. Now I was wondering because and not spirit related, but the table in the room. The what? The table vibrating. So I was assuming there was something yeah, no, beneath the ground that was. And I don't know, we get that every now and then, so I'm not sure if that's anything mechanical. I haven't been able to source it out. So beneath this is, is, is the um, gift shop in this little kitchen area of what a former kitchen area down there. I don't know, but we've had people feel, you know, um, yeah, vibrating of, of this area here. But at times, though, too, everybody's meters have gone off around. So no, it's, not this. Uh, oh, this one? The, okay. No, no. In, in the, the other one? Yeah. Yeah, we've had it there, too. Um, that again, that is the basement is beneath it, so I yeah. don't know. I mean, but we've had it in there too. But yeah, we get it, it in here. Come, been coming up from the These floor. are older buildings. For all I know, it could be something. It could be something structural. About yeah. and sometimes people hear like tapping is up in the main building. And it's up in the oldest section, and I've heard numerous of our guests say that. I'm like, I'm starting to think. I'm like, I don't know that that's paranormal. I'm going to say it's probably more no, old building. No, I think it's that's <laughs> that in there where yeah. I'm hearing the certain. I'm saying, some of the ones I'm like going. Oh, I don't know. I, I'm kind of thinking less paranormal on that one, you know, so I don't know. But yeah, we, we try to you know, figure it out. Get Sometimes something. We, we haven't been huh? able to. No, I have been weirded out if you, you know what? had get something. I, I yeah, know. Yeah, I, there was something below the ground. We're always there. looking. I'm going to turn off the lights. I'm going to talk to the. At least say Happy Halloween or hello or good night or whatever they want. All right, again, to the spirits, we mean no disrespect, we mean no harm. Um, we're here for friendly, positive communications only. We're just having some Halloween fun, but we're, we're the people who will we'll come talk to you any time of the year. It's not about Halloween. Um, just more because it's a fun time. We have fun, fun ghost things, nothing that hopefully offends you, and that would not be our intention. So thank you. If you don't know me, um, and I'm here a lot, and we keep our things here, and I know you prank me, so if you don't know me, someone whoever's here, my name is Debbie, and it's the last time you all have to do this. To my left is... Marty. Flora. Francine. Nick. So if there's anybody you want to talk to, they have different equipment that you can light up, or you can, you can touch the flashlights or torches, however you know of them. Um, also, if the cat crawl in there, um, you know what, just what, whatever, you, whatever you want to do. Um, we know you don't have to, but again, you can see us and we can't see you and we're only here for a little while and um, I'm going to talk about some stories now. Um, again, lots of things. One of the one of the main stories everybody has heard, if you've done any research on the place, the one story that pops up is the story of Amy. And um, Amy's little girl that did, we, we presume, drown. She did pass away on the property and she has a story way back in the early days that we know she, she did pass here. Uh, the details of her passing is a little murky. We don't know that much more about the rest of her family, but we've been researching her now for years, and we've actually connected with her at one point um, when she was answering, and then um, we got some other interesting things that happened, so we were able to kind of ask her some questions. We never asked her about her passing, though, so we don't know, but um, we did, you know, the, the story, it's a, it is a really sad story because, you know, the, the, the loss of a, a child is, is probably the worst thing that can happen to a parent. So it was back in uh, around 1894. Uh, the property was about uh, about 10 years old at that point. The investors had sold out to, um, and, and that, at that time was the Donnellys, and it was John Alexander, John McDonald, so, which, so you know those names. And um, a woman named Anna Boone. Oh, hello. Hi there. Thank you for turning that on. I appreciate you. I don't. I don't know which, which, uh, which thing you're answering to, maybe. But if you don't mind, if we ask you some questions before I launch the story, can I maybe ask a question. All right. Can I, can I ask if you're if you're um, connected to anybody here? Did you follow any of us here? Are you connected or related to anybody here in the room? I want to make sure first. Okay. Are you are you someone who's usually up here? I have I, I get some regular uh, 
visitors up here. There's all there's always somebody up here with me. I always know I'm never alone up here. Yeah, can we ask if you're the only spirit, the only non-living individual here in the in the room with us today, or in the building? Can you can you turn the light on if you're the only one with us? If there's two, including you, three, four, five or more. And we have gotten, we have had whole parties up here. I have four flashlights out. Um, sometimes we've had four or five, and I've seen all of them come on at the same time. So we, it, it's a busy place up here. So I don't know who's down there. You, you let us know. I, I am going to play the alphabet game just in case you want to answer, or anybody else that, who's hiding out in here. Um, if there's anybody here with an A name, whether it's your first name, last name, nickname, can you turn a light on or set off a piece of equipment? B? C? story you, a lot of times they will turn things on when we start talking about Amy because everyone knows her story anybody who's ever stayed here worked here um, you know for long you know like back in the day um, the owners everybody knows her story so anyway so Amy um, again 1894 and um, she was here with her family we, we, we know at least a father and a couple of siblings don't know about a mother they were staying you know in the main building and um, her father was going out on the lake which is what people came to did during the winter, they could go out, you know, it's great to fish in the middle of the winter, go snake hunting, gator hunting, whatever they were doing, going out with some buddies. So she followed him down to the lake and she, she wanted to go along. And he said, No, 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 you go back up to the inn, you know, I'll we'll get together later. And he went on his way. Uh, what he didn't know uh, until uh, much later in the day when he came back was that nobody had seen her alive again after he left her at the lake. That's the last place she had been seen. So it was. They, they searched for her, uh, and then it was presumed that something happened to her at the lake, whether it was drowning, um, gator combination. Uh, when we talk about this, and we say, yes. Whoa. So her body was never found. Uh, her body was never found, and they, and they always validate for us that this is this happened. They couldn't find her. Her body was not found. So um, she is still experienced here as a little girl in a red dress with the pigtails, and mostly in the main building. Uh, but we spoke to her in the Sunset Cottage, which did not exist while she was here. Uh, that was built in 1914. She passed away somewhere, we think, around 1894. But we think her family came back here. So it's possible her father came actually here to work. Uh, they came from the north somewhere. Um, but when we talked, when we got a flashlight, now, now at least I've talked, to, I didn't talk for two hours about flashlights coming on. You can see one. <laughs> but they, they know how to do it, and I appreciate them. Um, so we were getting these flashlights in the Sunset Cottage, and when the one started, and I had a very um, uh, sensitive couple that I was a little bit, the woman anyway, not, not the husband, uh, and we were doing the four hour, and she did not realize she was as sensitive as she was. She had these questions about her, about Amy's father, and like, what did he do for a living? Like, she was so, in, and I'm like, why, why do you want to know so much about Amy's dad? She said, I don't even know. She said, I don't know why. She says, so I, keep, I keep hearing in my head, what do you do? What, how did, did he work? What, what about work? So we do think possibly she was picking up on the fact that he, he would come down here to work. So as we're talking and, and, and this flashlight's answering us and, and saying it's actually Amy, because we always talk about her story and we get, they, you know, the other spirits will tell us, yep, that happened. But to actually have someone say, yeah, I'm Amy was, was kind of blew my mind. Uh, so as we're talking, we never asked her about her passing, but we did ask, and I'm gonna show you when I turn on the lights again, I have a picture that Amy is in of the original dining room. I'm gonna show it to you. And um, we always, that, that, yep, and that used to be framed and hanging outside the Eau Claire dining room and uh, went missing during renovations. We still don't know what happened to it. But I we did ask her, we said, is that you in the picture? <laughs> Boom, the flashlight comes on. Yes, it's her. Uh, then 
uh, the next natural question. See, she gets blamed for moving things in the Beauclair dining room. Uh, they'll they'll pull, they'll get everything set, you know, close it down for the evening and set up for next morning's breakfast or the next day. And at a certain table, things get moved around. So Amy was getting blamed for it, and people actually would see a little girl in there. Uh, we do think it's that other spirit that I mentioned before that like to watch her man to the manager. She's the little prankster in the other end. So we, I, I had a chance. I'm like, I've got someone saying they're Amy. So I said, are you the one moving the things in the dining room? No, it's not her. So the next natural question, though, was, are you okay? Are you happy? Yeah, she's happy. Are you stuck? No, she can come and go. As we're chatting with her, all of a sudden, a third flashlight, we had one coming on in the bathroom. We said they were not related, but Amy's with the flashlight on the bed. And all of a sudden, the one we had in the closet in there comes on, and I have never seen, and to this day, I've never seen a flashlight come on so strong with those two little batteries in that bulb. And uh, we, like, literally all stepped back. They were so, the energy was so strong. And then um, when it went off, my, my sensitive guest goes, oh, wow. She, I said, what? She says, wait a minute. She said, are you Amy's father? Boom, the light came on again. They're together. So um, we were all crying, so definitely. But the one thing we asked, well, well, why are you here? I mean, and so when we went through a series of questions, the one that, that we hit on, yep, they're here because they had some good times here. So they come back for those, not because of the worst thing that happened to them. They come back because they had good times here. So um, a little uh, um, a little girl has been seen on the front porch mm -hmm. with a man next to her. And again, it's just people who can who normally can see apparitions. So we do think they, they used to come back to visit because this was they did spend some time here. And I'm sure the family came back here after she passed, maybe hoping to connect with her, or whatever. So to whoever's down on the on the end of the table, um, can we ask again if if you were did you used to work here? I get lots of I guess lots of staff members who work here. Did, were you someone who used to work here at the inn, or or were you uh, an owner or related to an owner? We do get that. We get a couple of, of people. Sometimes the Edgerton family comes through. Um, we also get uh, the Harding family, who were caretakers here at the inn during the depression. And the whole family they had like seven kids. We lived on the other side of town. But they would come and stay on the property, and um, the kids would play hide and seek and stuff in, in the closed down buildings because it was you know, hot and dusty in the, in the summer with no AC, and they would play in there. And we still encounter those kids. Uh, they all they grew up, and uh, the last one I believe passed away last December at you know the very very elderly age. Um, so there, sometimes we when we start talking about them, uh, we think possibly some of them stayed up in here. Uh, I think that this closet area was actually a room, and um, there is someone who likes that that area, and he's he, that's he kind of hangs out there. He usually knows. I think he knows who pranks me. We've hid my my combination lock in there. I, I had to go search for it. It was under they put it under the stuff. Uh, they slammed it against the filing cabinet as I was leaving. Um, they actually opened the lock and opened the door. <laughs> I still don't know how they did that. I, I had a thing of it because I have a procedure for locking up before I go in to take my tour because I bring you guys back here. This, there's just one other key at the front desk and sometimes people come up here and uh, they had opened it up. They turned up. They turned on lights that I turned off. They turned off lights that I turned on so that I could mess with them. So I don't know who's all here. So to the to whoever's at the end of the table, can you at least tell us would we call you Miss? Mrs. Mr. Sir, you just want you want to just remain anonymous. That's okay. We can respect that. Is there someone else here with you? So besides the young man in the closet, you know, like I said, is a is, is kind of a regular. He'll he'll answer questions, and um, we do get some. Sometimes we'll come up to the top of the stairs here, and we. You'll just feel such pressure, um, and it's really heavy. There is a gentleman who sometimes paces here, and he's very anxious, and we do believe he's a former staff member. We also did got EVP recordings of him up here. Uh, we got to, we were getting two male voices as we sat up here. I mean, very clear, very, like, we would ask the questions, didn't hear anything, play it back, and we got, 
a young a young man who was speaking and answering questions, and then we had a, a definitely an older man, and he um, we we were talking about the man who who was pacing, and, and he's not bad, but he's very anxious, and you feel and you can even feel it even if you're not that sensitive. Um, so and then the other spirits would acknowledge that he's here. And he just it's a, it's a little intimidating. So when we played, we asked uh, you know about who's here. Yeah, okay, you guys we, we know who's here. So, um, and they a lot of times confirm what, what we talk about. So we were asking um, about the man who paces, and when we played it back, um, first of all, he, he, he didn't kind of like my, my answer because we were asking questions and, and, we, and we asked him to leave. We were not gonna leave, we weren't done here. So then we asked, um, um, why, why are, are you here? And when we played it back, that voice said, stuck, I mean, clear as, we all played it back several times, all three of us heard it. So then my guest, she says, well, did you, did you try to move on or go to the light um, or, you know, whatever, have you, have you tried to leave the room? And when we played it back, the same voice very, very clearly said, I tried. So we feel bad, you know, again, it's not in my wheelhouse. It's not, we, we don't, we hope that, he, I haven't felt him really lately. Um, so I don't, I don't think he's always here. But a lot of times you'll feel it, like you get to the top of the stairs, and even if you're in good shape, you just you, you just literally lose your breath. So <laughs> when Nick went into the bathroom there, you get a lot of activity out in that corner. Someone likes to hide in that corner, and like suddenly you'll just feel a rush of, and, it, and again, you don't have to be sensitive to feel it. It's like a rush, and you know how it's, how it's kind of a little stuffy in that bathroom back there? All of a sudden, it, it gets like a walk-in freezer. You're just like, suddenly it's cold. So they like to hide in that corner. So, um, yeah, so I don't, and, and we don't know why. I, I don't, so when this was, um, back when this was built in 1906, between 1906 and 1940s, it was, like I said, there was about five guest rooms in here, a couple of bathrooms and kitchen area. We don't know, you know, the, I don't know the exact setup. I'm still trying to find pictures of that. But in the 1940s, they, that used to be an open porch where that screen is, and they enclosed that. It adds some extra space, so there's about seven units in here. And um, I, I forget at what point, I think it was after the 80s where they took them out and um, turned this into, obviously this is an event room. Uh, now, most of the time, most weekends, this is a bridal party and bridal changing area. So that will come up and it'll be here all over the place, which is creepy as heck, yep. And uh, they're, up there they're up here watching the parties and things go on. So yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for validating my stories. I, knew, I, I know you're probably someone who's here a lot with me. Can, can we can we ask a little bit more? Can you at least give us an, a, a letter of your name? I, I won't know who you are probably. Instead of calling you the, the spirit at the end of the table or the light at the end of the table. Can you at least tell us if, if we would call, I, I, again, oh, oh, there we go, someone in the corner. So we used to have, uh, there used to be a seating area in there and we miss it and the spirits miss it too. They loved it, it was a little sofa seating area. So we, and they, they would actually sit down and talk with their guests over there. So I don't know who's over there. So I know there's at least two of you and that's cool. I like that. But we, we have about five minutes left because I want to show them some pictures and I've got some gifts for everybody. So this is your chance guys to, to talk to us. If there's something you want us to ask you. I know there's at least two of you here. Is there a third one? Or a fourth. Now it can be really busy up here. We've, like I said, we've had whole parties. We've actually played tag with a little 10 year old spirit boy. Picture, picture four middle aged women, right? There were no cables here. This was in the early days when I first started here about eight years ago. And I had these two, we had these two sisters, these two women who were um, doing the four hour one. And we were up here in my boss. Uh, and we were getting this, this flashlight coming on saying it was a boy. And we had, we had it on a chair in the middle of the room. And so the, this one lady, she was crazy, she was so much fun. So she's singing to him and the flashlight was actually going along with her song. And she's telling them stories. And finally she says, you wanna play a game? And the flashlight comes on. She says, how about tag? <laughs> so we're running around in here again, four middle-aged ladies running around this room. I, I'm really hoping the blinds were down and I don't even remember. And um, so the last lady was in, runs over to the chair with the flashlight, she goes, oh, you're it. And the flashlight came on, that's fun. We have good times. So uh, there's two of you. Can someone tell us if we have a male in here? Is there a man? A 
boy. Okay. I'm going to say at least male or boy. All right. Thanks for thanks for helping me out with that. I appreciate that. I know we. I, I'm not trying to be nosy. I know we ask a lot of questions. If there's anything else you'd like us to, to ask you? That was that was a strong yes there though. You blinded me. Okay. Did, yep. Yeah, do you? Did you want to do the alphabet game again? No? It's okay. If you want to, turn the light on. If you said a, if you said a boy, is this somebody that's um, 10 years old or younger? Are you younger than 10? Or is this someone between 10 years and 18 years old? Or is this a male or a man older than 18? Did I get that wrong? All right, I know you're male. Well, thanks for talking. So, and the, the, who's ever in the corner over there? Are you the one that's usually in the corner when we had the when we had the sofas over there? You just wanted us to let let us know you were here. That's okay. Can anybody tell me? Did you? Did you? Were you a guest here? Is anybody who's in the in the room with us? Was anybody a guest? Or you, did you just live locally here? You from Mount Dora? From somewhere else in Florida? Another state in the country here? Another country? Let me look at some. All right, you guys are going to be a mystery. I'm going to turn the lights on, but I'll leave the flashlights there. It's just a little easier to see them in the dark. But you want, I, want, I do want to get a nice Halloween picture of everybody over there. But I want to show you guys a picture um, that has a name in it. And that's for the screen, you guys. Um, get your eyes ready because uh, these come on really bright here. Really bright. Okay, guys, I can't see nothing. I got your night vision. Monkey dared me to. Monkey dared me to come up here and not turn the light on. I can't see nothing now. There's that Christmas tree. See, I can't see that in front of me. Make sure I'm not about to... What is that, a body? There's those chairs. I hear people talking down there. So, if we go up and over that way, we won't be in over top of our room. There's a room above us. And we kept hearing stuff. The fan was making a weird noise. I wonder if I can get over there without making a lot of noise.
I gotta be careful because okay there's the steps I honestly can't see anything all right I'll shut the night vision off check this out this is what I'm looking at this is what I see this is what you guys see Here is the window that they see the man with the bolo hat. And so our room is right under this room. So there is a room above us. It's construction. 1927 to 1929. So, but yeah, there's supposed to be a man seen in this window. But remember, we are in a hotel. Could they have seen somebody walk by? You know, who knows? So, <laughs> I came in and Monkey was using the uh, ghost box. I thought that was pretty cool. And this is, this is construction of the gables in the ter terrace building. Big old bulldozer. Just the sprinklers. We heard it in there. The monkey's like, what's that noise? Like, I don't know, I don't hear anything. Yeah, see there's a room above us. So we were up there. Not to the end, of course, more like the middle, but <laughs> cool. Alright. I'll be back with you. I don't know how much ghost hunting I'm gonna do tonight. I'm very, very tired and I have a terrible headache and I forgot my towel and all. But let's go back in. There's our room. What'd you find? Huh? What'd you find? Garbage bags with dead bodies in them. Yeah? Yeah. Did you open them up? Yeah. 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 A hand flopped out, so we got the hell out of there. Yeah. Why did you investigate it more? Because I'm, I'm, I'm not a detective. Oh, that wasn't very nice either. So, nope, ain't gonna, ain't gonna do that. Nope. 
You can't see nothing. You won't let me turn the light on. You can't, you can't see nothing in that? In here, but, I mean, think about it. You're looking through the screen right here. Yeah, and you can't see nothing. And that view. I'll be back with you guys. Okay, guys. We are back in our room. We went and we looked for food and had to find Shea Bear some food because everything closes really early in Mount Dora. So, but there were a few things that were open, but some of them weren't serving food. They were just doing karaoke and drinking. So we were looking for food, but we did find a little place. Excuse me. It's called Simplicity and they do coffee and uh, they have a little menu. Um, they had a breakfast menu, so Shea Bear got some breakfast. So that should help them. Anyways, we're in our room. Shea Bear is walking around smoking outside. So I thought I'd turn you guys on and I have my box right here on as you can see and we were trying to see if anybody was in here I did get here a noise a couple of noises and um, yeah that was strange I wasn't on is anybody in here can you make the meter move if you are here Can you make that noise that you made earlier for me? It sounded like the fan was hitting something, but it, it stopped. So, and it did it once and then it stopped and then it did it again. So, and I was trying to get my camera together so you guys could have hear, heard it. And now I don't hear it at all. Like, you know, when the fan is loose, it, it's, it gives you that noise. Um, and that's what it sounded like. But if it was loose, it would continuously do it. And the fan's not doing that. Now I'm talking about the ceiling fan up there. Yeah. Can you make that noise you were making earlier? If you're in my room? Hmm. See, now it's not doing it at all. But it was weird. And I'm, you know, I would tell you the truth. I, I, I heard something. I don't know what it was. But I did like, the ghost tour was okay. I kind of got bored a little bit. I'm trying to turn this screen on so I can see. So I was a little bit bored. Um, Shaver didn't really like it at all. He wasn't too happy with it. It was expensive too. And um, yeah, I think... Uh, I think we've been to better, like when we did the ones in St. Augustine, they were pretty good. Um, but it was fun, to something to do for Halloween, and uh, you know, it, it's, it's a nice little place. Um, I wish we had one more day to stay here. The only reason I said that, because I'd like to get in that swimming pool, and I don't think we'll have time in the morning for me to go swimming, because checkout's at 11. And I'd have to get up early to get in that pool. And then I'd have to come in and have a shower and get ready to go. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I really would like to get in that pool, though. I'm a swimmer. I like to swim. I was on the swim team in high school. So, I like to swim. And I don't get to do it much anymore. So, anyways, I was trying to see if there was somebody here. And, um... Somebody want to talk? So I was trying to use my meter here. And I thought that was strange because it did, it did move there um, when I first turned it on. But I thought it was because, you know, stuff in here in the, house, in the room. And I was trying to get my camera together. And, uh, yeah, that was strange. And I think Bruno might have seen a little boy. He, We were in that train depot, and um, I don't know. He started acting like 
hyper, really hyper, but he was smiling and he was happy. He was wagging his tail. And, and I don't know why he did that. Cause most of the time we went to some, those places, um, and we were sitting down, he sat down and he seemed a lot calmer. So, um, yeah, but I don't know. Anybody here? Can you move the meter for me? Move the meter. Let me see if I can get something else on and, and we'll try it. Hold on. Okay. So I turned on the Xbox. The Xbox. Whatever it's called. And uh, see if we can get anything. Anybody here? If you are here, can you tell me your name through this box? Did I do this right? Huh? Did I do this right? You have a sleepy? I don't know how to sleep it. You got to sleep in two better results. Yeah, you wanted to sleep. Yeah, I forgot the instructions at the help. And then you put it in here, right? Because you don't want to. That's what you want right there. Oh, okay. I found cows in the corner. Huh? I found cows in the corner. Really? Where is it at? Oh, yeah? What, does it have a plaque there? Yeah, it's got a plaque in the kitchen. Really? Oh, neat. Yeah. Anybody here? I had that other box out and I was trying to get the camera going and I had it on. That thing clicked. Like, you know how a fan is loose? Yeah. And I thought maybe it was loose, but it stopped. It's not doing it now. At all. Are they? Dang. Wow. What is that? That place? That one place? Yeah. Dang. I think they're open till one. Yeah. Woo -hoo. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. 
Aww. Aww. Wasn't that little girl's name Amy? Yeah. Is Amy here? Amy, you want to come and play with the dog? Bruno is friendly. It's like, nope. <laughs> Bruno, stop. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Do you remember the little boy's name? I don't think they have a name for the little boy, but that woman was, was it Emma? Emma? Is Emma, there Emma, Emma here? Boone. Emma who? Boone. Boone. Emma Boone, are you here? Do you want to talk to us? You can talk to us through the box. Was there anyone next door that had the flashlight here? Can someone come and talk to us? Nope, there ain't nobody, babe. Nope, no, nobody. That's a shame. Yeah. Okay, guys, so I'm not going to bore you with all that because, you know, it's boring. Believe me, we knew about the boring. I took it out of the bag. <laughs> there we go. So we had a good time. I mean, you know. It was a little boring there for a while, and then she kind of moved us along. She talked too much, I think. Talked too much about what her and her team does. Right, right, and right. not and enough then, about the paranormal stuff that we wanted to really see. I don't and, care what her and her team 
you know, most right. of me, that's just personal experience. Mm-hmm. Show me proof. Right. If not, let's talk about, you know, some of the deaths that were here, you know. Yeah. documented stuff. And she did say that one guy died in one of the buildings. Um, not the one that we're in, but I don't one down on the other sunshine side. Room. The sunshine room. It's he had a heart attack. It's the last one down there. Yeah. People are just going in there when I walk down there. Oh yeah. Oh. I had the suitcases on the wheels and stuff. They oh. Checking in. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, that came in late, didn't they? All right, guys. Well, we'll show you some more tomorrow on um, um, what we're doing. Um, we do have to be out of here at 11, so. But we're going to walk around. We're not going to run home or anything. We don't need to. We don't have to, so. We'll look around for a little bit. I want to get some crepes for breakfast if we can. Yeah. <laughs> that would be good. Yep. <laughs> so that's it for now. Monkey says she's out. Bye, y'all. Okay, guys, this is the next day, and as you've seen, we had a few things happen, but nothing really great. I mean, fantastic or anything, but that's part of this, you know, but we had fun still. Um, the Honda Tour was okay. I don't think it was worth the amount of money that we paid for. Um, I think it should be a lot cheaper. She did talk too much, and I could see me getting bored of all the talking she was doing, and not doing more of the investigation, trying to get him to, um, you know, hit the lights or the, the little ball that she had. I didn't get it, but Shea Bear got it that the light, the little ball she put out, what it lit up um, at the beginning. But, um, you know, I thought it was pretty cool that the lights come on. But, you know, is this phony? It could be. I mean, you know, like we were talking, you know, you can light, you can loosen a light bulb and it will go off. So I, I like to try it at home when we get home on a flashlight, kind of like what she had. So we could see if it would work or not. Just, just curious. Anyways, guys, we're going to go, um, get out of here and then we have to, um, go eat breakfast. Oh my God. That's such a chore. We got all day we can knock around yeah yeah we don't have to be rushed at home my mother's in the nursing home she's fine and uh yeah so we're okay we're gonna um he wants to go in a in a shop that um has, sells jerky so um that would be good he wants to try the python jerky <laughs> And I'm like, no, I'm not having a python in my stomach. No, thank you. Uh-uh. That thing might grow and yeah. it might strangle my organs. No, yeah, thanks. Since we met. <laughs> oh, my God. On that note, I'm leaving for now. And we'll be back when we see something. Okay, guys. We are in the lobby and we have checked out. And this is the lobby. I don't think I got much of it. And it's really pretty in here. Over there is the dining room where the doors are. Really pretty. And it's okay. And then I got over here a little seating area. Very nice. Got a piano. Never heard it. I don't know if it's automatic or if um, you know you have to play it. Cool. Over here, very nice. That that was the room that we started the haunted um, tour last night. And uh, here's some pictures here. I'll show you these pictures real quick. That's the pool area. That was in 1945. Here is Lakeside Inn in 1940. And remember, it started as a 10 unit motel that was 1939 this was 1935 and we have 1939 again from a helicopter or airplane that's pretty cool eh? very cool 
Very nice place. This is not the Hilton. You're not going to get what you get at the Hilton. It's just, you know, there's some more pictures over here. I'll show you of the place. I don't know if these are different years. Oh, there's 1932. Hmm. 1930. You're getting a glare. Let me see if I can stand in front of it a little bit. Yeah, it's from the la the windows. 1929. Wow. They didn't even, I don't even think they had a pool there. 1927. And the pool now is still the same pool. When they put it in, it, it's exactly the same pool. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So this is really neat. So we'll go over here. I have Bruno, so I have to go the other way. Okay. Come on, we'll drive, walk this way. Very nice in here, very pretty. And then they have a fireplace. We come in here in January and February when it's cold and we can sit by the fire. And they were open in 1883. Can you imagine how many people have been here? People in the 1800s came here in their fancy dresses and their top hats and yeah. And look where we were now, shorts and tank tops. <laughs> yeah, they'd be appalled in what we were now. <laughs> and that's 1906 there. So, pretty cool. Really nice. Yep. Okay, guys, so we're going to go get something to eat, and then we'll um, we'll bring you back on. So we found some more pictures over here. This is 1921. This is the lobby. You repeated what I said. You're, you're in my way. And this is the gate house from 1924. That's really neat, isn't it? Yeah. It's like they had a little private area over here. You could have tea and and uh, read a book. That was kind of cool. That's the lobby. Here's 1921. That's the way it looked like in 1921. Cool. Very cool. And the gay house. That was 1924. And then the lakeside in again at night in 1923. That's cool. Look at the car. You see that car in that picture? That's what they drove back then to come to this hotel. That is really cool. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that, but yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, we gotta go eat. I'm hungry. So we're going to get some crates and we are in their little back here behind their building that they made a little garden place. So this is really cute, nice and cozy. We can sit out here. She's going to bring our meal to us. Yep. So I don't have to go back in and get it. That's nice. I think it's really cute in here. Like the wine barrels. <laughs> yeah. You've been wanting me to get, it, get you one so I can cut it in half. Yeah. I've been wanting those wine barrels, and they're very expensive. Yeah, well, these are original. Yeah. Because there's a winery around. Right? So can you stuff that in your pocket so we can take it home? Yes. Okay. As soon as we leave. All right. So it's really pretty in here. And at night, they have lights, so you can see the lights. Yeah, we saw it at night, remember? Yeah, and yeah. It's like, what's that? And I'm like, I don't know. It's mm -hmm. a whole building, the crate building. Yeah, yeah. So that's cool, huh? Mm -hmm. So I had coffee. He got himself a soda. And uh, we're waiting on our meal. Yep. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, guys, we are home. Um, I like my doll. I like my doll. She's creepy looking. 
Anyways, we are home and uh, we didn't really see much. We did go by the river and the river's still rising. Go see Shea Bear's uh, clip because he put that in in his. Um, I didn't do any more on it, um, but he is. He's done it every week. So you can see the difference on how high our river's getting. Um, it still hasn't crest. And they said around November the 5th before it should crest, hopefully. It's getting pretty bad. It's getting up there. It's uh, Our friend, he lives over by the river and his neighbor across the road where we got the car, he is, his backyard's in water and they said it's up near the road. So yeah, so he has a couple of boats that he had. Um, he had a sailboat back there and some, I think like good news and stuff. Um, and they're floating in water so that ain't good so anyways that's it guys i hope you have enjoyed the video i wish the tour was a little bit better than it was um because i did get a little bit bored uh, there was too much talking and not enough movement to keep people interested i think they need to change that a little bit um but it was still fun Any, anytime you go out and do something like that it's fun so I'm going to say I'm out. I'm going to go and have me a nap and then I'll put this up. So y'all take care and have a great weekend and we'll see you in the next one. Like I said, she's out. Bye y'all.